Bask. We're asking too. Wendy Aguilar joins us live to explain. Hi, Wendy. Hi, good morning. Yes, we are all asking the same question. What is water tapping? Now, first of all, these are the sack lady tappers. No, it's not a dancing team. But what exactly is it? So we have Coach Dave right over here, and these young ladies are getting ready for a big competition coming up next month to represent our area. So tell us what is tapping, first of all. They are actually, what they're doing is they're physically making a water tap in a water main like we would do typically every day out in the field. Um, at this point right now, what they're doing is really drilling a hole in a ductile iron pipe. And once they drill this hole, they're going to actually thread the hole at, at right there. She, her drill bit is through the pipe, and she's getting ready to start threading the pipe now. So what she'll do is thread the hole, and then we'll insert a valve back in with this machine. This is a lot of intense work. This is a lot of intense work. It's, it's extremely physical, and to actually have women do it, as you see, they have to help each other. A typical men's team wouldn't do this, but a women's team, they all help each other, and they work together really well. It's been a long process for us. So you don't see a lot of female teams in this uh, water tapping competition, right? There are not a lot of female teams. For the Cal Nevada section, this was the only female team. And then they're getting ready to go to the national competition where they'll probably see about 10 teams, possibly 12. Very interesting. So how do you prepare for this? It's just a lot of practice and a lot of work at this point. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're seeing some water now. Okay, I think we're gonna see some water, and I'm just gonna move out of the way. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we go. So the point of this is to do this in people's homes, and you said something very important, which is water. The point of this is to do this for every person's home in Sacramento, and then the deal is when we do this like this is we do not disrupt anybody's water in their home. So it's all about let's do it without turning everybody's water off so it doesn't disrupt the businesses or homes themselves. Tell us the names of all these people that you have on this team so we want to meet them. Uh, on that side over there is Roxanne. She's our alternate in case any of them get hurt. On this side, on the back side, we call her the machinist. This is Megan. Out here in the middle here, this is JoLynn. She's our what we call the cranker. And then down in front of us there, that's our other Megan. And she's what we call the copper girl. So at this point, she's getting the copper ready to go She's working on actually the city service valve right there, and it would be connected typically to where that pipe is, is where the meter would be. Wow, a lot of intense work. I can't even keep up just watching these ladies going to town over here, and I'm sure oh. they're going to do really well. Megan, and hold the corp. Here Megan, we go. Hold the corp. What's going on here? Well, what's happened is they're trying to get the adapter off at this point, and in competition, pipe wrench on the corp. At this point in competition, that valve needs to be held so that it doesn't, it'll actually physically unthread out of the pipe. Oh. And then we'll all get really wet at this point. <laughs> all right, will we be able to see that? No, we're going to keep them from doing that. <laughs> okay, we're going to stay dry, but we're going to continue to uh, watch them fun. in action and, of course, wish them the best as they go on to their competition in Philadelphia. And uh, we'll send it back to you. All right. Some competition. Yeah. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Coming up at 1T.